Oh, I hit the trees. Ah, god damn it. Seven weapons now that we're getting the hang of unguided bomb delivery, we're going to move on to using unguided rockets. We have two rocket types loaded for this lesson, but they're both delivered in the same manner. Basically point and shoot when within range. We'll keep this lesson in active pause mode as we discuss unguided rockets. Press the space bar to continue. Take a look at the weapon status panel in the center of the front dash. We'll see that only the third most outer and inner stations can be loaded with rockets, indicated by the yellow lights. On the black weapon panel to the left of the HUD is a dash field that indicates the selected weapon type. Currently, no weapon type is selected. Let's select rockets now by entering air to ground mode. Press 7. Great, now we're in air to ground mode and you can see HPC, which indicates rockets, shown in the current weapon field. You can also see green lights on the active weapon station indication. In this case, the third most outboard station on the right wing. In the lower right portion of the HUD, you are provided the name of the selected rocket type. You can see SAKOM, which indicates the SAKOM. This rocket uses a BAM1 rocket pod with 20 rockets per pod. The rocket is 82 millimeters in diameter, has a range of about 2 kilometers, and has a shape charge warhead, which is good against armor. Press D to select the next rocket type. This is the S-13OF, which is held four to a B-13L rocket pod. The rocket is larger than the S-8, having a diameter of 122 millimeters. It has a blast fragmentation warhead and has a range of about two kilometers. High explosive and blast fragmentation warheads are best used against unarmored and lightly armored targets. However, a direct hit on an armored vehicle may destroy it, depending on the size of the warhead. Press the spacebar to continue. In addition to the S-8KOM and the S-13OF, the SU-27 can employ two other rocket types. The S-24B is your largest rocket with a diameter of 600 millimeters and a mass of 235 kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. Given its size, the S-24B is not housed in a pod, but rather directly attached to the weapon station. The final rocket is the S-8 OFP-2. Like the KOM version, it's an 82mm rocket with 20 rockets per pod. However, this one is a blast fragmentation warhead. Press the spacebar to unpause the lesson and fly through all the gates ahead. As we're en route to the target, we can practice your low-level ingress skills. Nearing the target will initiate a pop-up attack. In the middle portion of your HUD is your rocket aiming reticle. Much like the bombing reticle, this indicates where the rockets will land if you launch them at that instant. However, the range must be within minimum and maximum range value of the selected rocket type. Along the left side of the HUD is the rocket launch zone indication. The top bar indicates the maximum range of the rocket, and the bottom bar indicates the minimum safe range. The carrot moves vertically along the left side of the HUD to indicate your current range based on where the rocket aiming reticle is placed. When the carrot is between them, when your selected rocket type is within range, a launch authorization cue will appear on the HUD. At the next gate, we'll start our climb. Make sure your speed is above 700 kilometers per hour. As you pass through the top gate, roll the aircraft inverted and pull the nose down to the target. The target is marked with red smoke. When aligned with the target, roll the wings level while keeping the aiming reticle over the target. 
Press the space bar to fire the rockets when you see the LAQ on the HUD. Nice hit on target. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key, or you can practice using other rocket types on the targets I just marked with green smoke. Success, first time, nice. Strafe. Cannon select is C. Cannon is C. So, have a C. Save it. Activate it. Let's go. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the internal 30 millimeter cannon. We'll start the lesson in active pause mode. On the right side of the forward fuselage of the SC-27 is a GISH 301 30 millimeter cannon with a 150 round magazine. The rounds include a tracer that can use to better judge where the rounds impact. The firing rate is about 3,000 rounds per minute with a muzzle velocity of 870 meters per second. You can turn on cockpit lighting by pressing L. Press the space bar to continue. Oh wow, I'm not going to make that one. Oh, this is insanely difficult flying. Something went terribly wrong there, other than my flying skills. Cannon did not fire. That's so weird, it didn't select properly. That whole cannon thing did not go well. Came over the top, I could have got the shot away. I think I was flying too fast. Watch your altitude at the next gate. It's a low one. On the HUD, you'll note that gun is displayed in the bottom left corner, indicating its selection. In the lower right corner of the HUD is a box that indicates the remaining ammunition of quarters, four being full and one being one quarter full. Along the left side of the HUD is the maximum and minimum range bars, just like you saw with rockets. In the range pairs between the two bars, the cannon is within range of the point beneath the medical on the HUD. When in range, the LA indication will be displayed. We'll now start a dive on the target that consists of a couple trucks marked with red smoke. To help aid you see in them, some illumination flares will be dropped over the target area. Continue flying through the gates to line up with the target. I'm not sure these gates line me up Watch with your the target at all. Fly to place the aiming reticle over the target. Press the space bar when you get the LAQ. God damn it. Good hits on target. You can end the lesson now by pressing escape key, or practice on the remaining targets marked with green smoke before the illumination flares up. That's enough for me. That's something I need to practice, definitely. Cinematic cameras. 